what's up guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to basically talk on the fact that nxt could possibly be going back to a developmental state from back in the day where you just saw new new superstars show up in you know young fresh talent show up and grow in order to be pushed to the new roster now go to the uh, main roster now in this article we're gonna jump straight into it dave Meltzer says that he triple a i mean <laughs> dave Meltzer says that triple h and Shawn michaels had nothing to do with this friday's cuts this past week uh, which saw the release of bronson reed uh bobby fish and mercedes martinez he then goes on to say that uh the mentality is that NXT is going to change in some way. Uh, it's going to basically go back to the early days of developmental with getting talent that are younger, bigger, and could someday uh, main event WrestleMania. Now, this comes along with the thought that I had back in another video that Vince McMahon is pissed at nxt for losing a wednesday night wars with AEW, and he thinks that that is due to the fact that they didn't have enough young star power like AEW has all this young indie talent you know what i mean that they they pull on they draw on they also have four different shows which with within dynamite dark elevation and uh soon to come rampage you know what i'm saying so yeah it, 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 what and i believe that aw having all those shows does a lot for their stars even their newcomers because you have you're not only placing them in the ring in front of a crowd and in front of cameras but you're also giving them the opportunity to grow their characters to see where they're where they stand with the fans and whatnot and to take that information and you know succeed Whereas on NXT, I feel like they've brought in a lot of big names over the last few years, such as Adam Cole, Keith Lee, uh, Aleister Black, you know, the whole Undisputed Era. I mean, you name it. Any of those names have been names that are solidified in the indie circuit. You know what I'm saying? They 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 already have a fan base. They want they already have a character, and you know how it is with trying to have your own character in wwe it's just not working they want wwe wants stars wants to make the stars themselves they want to make the character and they want certain people who they believe that will fit that character to play that character and i think that that's where a lot of these cuts and talent releases have been coming from over the last couple of days you have a lot of people who are opinionated who actually don't enjoy being running a, doing exactly what they're told to do when it comes to their personality you know so their on-screen personality or their in-ring personality uh it's not like they have the best group of guys back there writing the stories as well you know with gregory helms jamie noble and a bunch of other guys from back in the day now no disrespect to them but some this is a different era people are creative they're more creative and they deserve the right to work and fine-tune their character and I believe that this is where AEW and WWE are different. Whereas AEW accepts the people, the characters and the wrestlers for who they are and let them continue to grow and give them a platform to, to, to blow up on. WWE is like, hey, look, we want Braun Strowman to be more like the Big Show. You know what I'm saying? We want Roman Reigns to be more like The Rock. We want Kevin Owens to be like Stone Cold. That's just it. That's not who those people are. Kevin Owens didn't come up Kevin Owens. He came up Kevin Steen. Fight, Steen, fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fight, Steen, fight. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these guys already had a fan base, and when they got to the WWE, they still had that fan base, but the, the way WWE would book these characters, it would just they didn't sit well. Now, as far as NXT goes, like I said, NXT didn't have a bad roster at all. You know what I'm saying? They do have a lot of young talent over there, but Vince McMahon is not looking to make stars of stars. He's looking to make stars of non-stars. So, yeah, we see here that Meltzer also believes that, like I said, 
the fact that a NXT lost the wars with, uh, with AEW is the issue. And basically, Vince is like, look, I, I, enough is enough. I'm taking over. Then we going to be making this. This show was originally meant to be developmental. It's going back to developmental. That's it. You know, so. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to keep our eyes peeled for then see what the next changes are, are to come for NXT or whatnot. What superstars are going to be trying to are going to try to be made. And even if it's going to succeed, because like I said, we live in a new era where a lot of people are creative. And if they sit back and had enough time to come up with their star and they like who they are and they're figuring out how to change and grow. And you know what I'm saying? Not only with the fans, but with, you know, the company they're in, then it, we owe it to them to let them be themselves and let them see what they can deliver. If we're not feeling what they deliver, we will let them know. You know what I mean? But rather than have these stars come out here and do what you want them to do or what they what you feel they should do, I think it affects their performance, it affects their personality, and I think it affects the delivery of the, of the program. You know? So, guys, let me know what you think down below. Do you what you expect from NXT after all these releases? What do you think Vince McMahon is going to do with NXT to basically benefit the WWE? You know, uh, let me know down in the comments. So, uh, how you feel about this? And uh, yeah, y'all have a good day. Practice social distancing. Uh, wear your mask and uh, peace.